Hey guys, welcome to Brian's thing. I just got a new saxophone. It's a curved soprano by a cannonball. So let's open the box and see how it sounds. All right, so here's the case. It says cannonball. And again, this is a curved soprano saxophone, so it's very small. And this case looks smaller than a trumpet case, if you can believe that. So let's open this, see what we have inside. Ooh, we have a little goodie folder in here. Let's see what it says. Let's open this. Care of your new cannonball saxophone. And it gives you instructions on how to keep it clean and what to do with it. And you get the Supreme five-year warranty. Can't beat that. And let's see here. This, I believe, is the writing about the semi-precious stones on the keys. And we'll take a look at that when I play it. And this is Welcome to the Cannonball Family. Check them out on Twitter, YouTube, Facebook. And this shows everything about my horn and who engraved it. So that's pretty cool. And they even signed it. So I'll keep that. Let me throw it over here. This looks like a mouthpiece. Cannonball Soprano mouthpiece. All right. Since we're talking about the mouthpiece, this is the cap and the ligature, silver. And I like how they have a little space for your, uh, for your mouthpiece and the cap in right here. And here it looks like a neck strap and court grease. Can't have enough of court grease. And this is the cleaning cloth with Cannonball. I use it all the time on my alto sax. And this looks just like a, a carrying, a, a pouch for all your supplies. And it says Cannonball right there. So you will definitely be known as a Cannonball person if you have a Cannonball saxophone. And this looks like one of the necks. This is the black nickel neck. And this is what the semi-precious stone looks like. And over here is the second neck, which is should be the silver. And here's the silver neck. Again, it has the stone here. From my understanding, the silver neck is a bit more bright and the black nickel will give you a bit of a, a darker, darker, more centered tone. So I think when I play it at first, I'm going to try the black nickel because I tend to have a bright tone because I use a metal mouthpiece. So let me put this over here. And now we get to the good stuff. And there's two slots here for the two necks. And the saxophone is bubble wrapped because they ship everything at Cannonball, best of care. And you have this little white cloth to take out. And it says Cannonball here too. And here it is, ooh, it's pretty. And if you've seen my videos, I have the alto sax version of this Gerald Albright saxophone. And this is the curved soprano. They also make this in a straight soprano. And I've never really played a curved soprano more than a handful of times. And I just loved when I tried this out at NAMM, how, how the sound was. And it, it, it really is a lot of fun to play. And I'm really excited to put this thing together and show you guys. And you can see the engraving is beautiful here. Um, it says Cannonball, Gerald Albright model. And these are the semi-precious stones here. I mean, this is really pretty. And let's see how it sounds. I'm going to put it together and uh, let's check it out. Okay, so I put the horn together. You can see how small it is in my hands. And you can also see that um, typically the lower octave B flat and B openings of the keys will be here on this side, but they're on the left side of the bell. Um, and I just noticed that 
you know, even though it's really small, it fits really well in my hands, and the ergonomics feel very similar to the Alto Sax that I have, which is also the Cannonball Gerald Albright, um, which you've probably seen in my videos. So um, I'm using the black nickel neck, and let's see how it sounds. I'm using my neck strap too, because uh, I don't want to drop this thing. So just off the bat, you know, the, the sound is almost literally hitting me in the face because the bell is pretty much pointing right at me. And I've never had that experience with uh, a straight soprano, obviously, because with the straight soprano, the sound's going to the ground. Um, so I can really tell how I, how I sound, intonation, tone. It's instant feedback, and that's really cool. Um, let me play some of the upper uh, registers here. Yeah, it was, you know, it might be a little shrill. I'm not used to playing that high on my straight soprano, but here it's uh, it's really easy to get up there. Um, I don't know if my neighbors will like how loud that is, but um, it's all a factor with the mouthpiece and the reed combo too. But this is all in all, I'm really excited and uh, sounds really cool. <laughs> So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.